fish on here guys fish on the trigger minnow collins lake baby got that on the downrigger i was down 29 feet don't know if it's a bass or a trout but it came right up on top and jumped kind of playing possum right now that low rod tip been a lot of trout jumping out here um, got one near the surface but like i say this was down a little bit deeper and that trigger minnow is just a dead dead ringer for for natural bait i'm trolling 1.8 kind of going slow so oh it's a nice fish big chunky rainbow Oh, nice fish there he is guys trigger minnow nice fat fish um, my dad told me bring me some fillets so dad's gonna be eating good tonight and uh, you can see that natural color trigger minnow right there it uh, just a dead ringer for a bait fish 1.8 miles an hour I can see him down there feeding on shad they're busting the surface feeding on shad they're being a little finicky but what do I always say match the hatch catch the fish collins lake baby get on up here it is trout time in the foothills we are just getting started out here at collins lake so guys that trigger minnow is just deadly effective let me show you how i rigged that i'm going to turn the boat just a little bit here because it looks like the light is kind of funky but uh that should be a little better so i'm running this on the downrigger today the fish are down about 30 feet main line goes through a bead troll and swivel standard setup running 10 pound test monofilament um, i've got about a 40 inch eight pound test fluorocarbon leader and on that leader i've threaded on an action disc right there two bobber stops and a small bead and down here i've got one of my number four ring eye must add bronze hooks um, nothing super special, just a ring-eyed bronze hook. Take that trigger minnow. Now, you can see he's got the bottom. He's got a little belly down here, flat back, natural color. Bait's about two and a quarter inches long. And with the hook to come out of the back. And I want it down near the tail. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to insert this right where the nose of the bait would be. I'm going to take my time, okay? I'm just going to work that bait onto that hook trying to keep that hook point in the middle of the body right right at the moment I'm just kind of working him around working him around I don't care how the minnow looks at this point I'm just working it just working it down trying to keep that hook point in the meaty part of the body now I'm down towards the tail I'm gonna pop that hook point out and now I'm gonna start working that body around the bend by sliding it over the eye I'm sliding it up and over the eye trying to straighten that body out it's getting there I'm almost there takes a second okay there we go now that right there hold this up that is pretty much perfectly rigged right there just like that now I'm gonna slide the beads and the bobber stop the bead and the bobber stops down to within about a quarter inch of the bait's nose just like that okay now that action disc we slide it down the line that action disc is going to sit against those two bobber stops and uh, that is going to generate tremendous action to the bait why do i use two bobber stops if you just use one if you troll a little faster or, you know you goose the throttle or something like that one bobber stop will slide but if you put two bobber stops on there pretty much locks things in place and uh, you know I don't want them moving up and down the line I want them staying where I put them so 
that's the rigging in a nutshell. I'm gonna put that back about 85 feet behind the boat because they are being a little sensitive today. They're playing a little sensitive. I'm gonna drop it down about 30 feet deep, 29 feet. Um, and getting some fish on surface flies too. I think the action is gonna get a whole lot better here when I get some breeze. I've been dealing pretty much with glass all morning and that is not optimum. But anyway, um, the trigger minnow, deadly effective. I think I'm sold out of them right now, but I'll get some more in the store. Trigger minnow, deadly effective. I rig my, um, my trout tricks worms the same exact way. You get tremendous action at low speeds and that draws the strike and in this case, I am matching the shad that the trout are eating almost perfectly. That's it for now. I'm Kel Kellogg. I'll catch you next time right here on YouTube. Remember, get some trigger minnows, rig them that way, and you're going to be yelling fish on. I guarantee it, especially here in these foothill lakes where the food source is threadfin shad and pond smell. Match the bait, catch the fish. Enough said. Thanks for all the support, guys. I'm Kel Kellogg.